Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Atmospheric pressure and salt are evidence of disaster. Virtually, all living things experience salt deficiency in the body. In doing so, the body replenishes it by drawing salt from other tissues, destroying bones and muscles. When atmospheric pressure drops, blood cells swell and burst. To avoid this, it is necessary to salt the blood. Inside a human cell, the pressure is almost eight times higher than atmospheric pressure, indicating that we are made for other conditions. For example, the pressure in the air bubbles in amber is 8 to 10 atmospheres, which was the pressure when they were formed. Imagine a cell like a balloon. It's already on the verge, a slight decrease in pressure, and it's ready to burst. That is why our bodies are weakened, our lifespan is only 50 to 100 years, and most people, from small changes in pressure, suffer. No lived 900 years, and there are legends that in Russia there were old men who lived 300 years, and now, 100 years is considered longevity. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. An electric bus in New York City, 1904. Electric cars of all kinds already existed a hundred years ago, and were used everywhere, but no one wanted people to have an economical personal transport with high efficiency, they needed super profits from oil, so the technology did not develop on purpose. And now we are presented as something new. Depiction of giant humans and animals in the Liver de la Chasse book. One of the oldest known books is the Liver de la Chasse, or Book of the Hunt. According to the notes on the pages, it can be deduced that it dates back to approximately 1450. A very old book with depiction of giant humans, much bigger than trees, hunting gigantic animals. We're all being conditioned to think and believe certain things without any rational explanation through subliminal messaging and advertising, music, film, television, political propaganda, and military psychological operations. Considering the definition of the word subliminal, existing or functioning below the threshold of consciousnesses, it is easy to downplay the power of this brainwashing technique, because most people are not consciously aware that it is happening, yet, it is affecting their lives. Once you realize that subliminal messaging is real and start to pay attention, it becomes much easier to recognize that we are, indeed, all being conditioned to behave a certain way, to want certain things, and to believe in ideas, without being able to rationally explain why. 
The common response to this type of revealing information is skepticism and disbelief. That sexual innuendos or random words embedded in pictures or film will not impact a person's willingness to buy a product. Although it is a common assumption that sex sells because for most people it is associated with feelings of pleasure, excitement, enjoyment or even love, subliminal messaging is about much more than helping advertisers sell more product. These messages are designed to have an impact on general consumer behavior and affect people's life patterns, thus molding society as a whole, creating and captivating more and more receptive consumers. When bombarded with subliminal messaging, the mind is likely to trigger emotions, memories or feelings, without a person's conscious recognition of why they feel a certain way. A person may not consciously realize why they start to become more attracted to certain behaviors, lifestyles or products, but they are more likely to succumb to the attraction. Subliminal ads are used as a technique not only to increase sales, but is also used to divert youth and involve them in such type of behavior, which is only hazardous to the consumer. Impact of Subliminal Messaging and TV Advertisements on Consumer Behavior, a case study of youth in Kashmir province of J&K, Blue Ocean Research Journals. Are subliminal messages contributing to a variety of economic, social, and political problems currently present in our culture, such as over-competitiveness, low self-esteem, obesity, over-consumption and debt? There are many examples that support this idea and demonstrate that subliminal messaging, over time, can have a powerful impact. Take, for instance, advertising to women. If you look at any variety of ads that are targeted at women ages 18 to 35, an overwhelming majority will personify that women and girls should be thin, wear lots of makeup, style their hair in certain ways, and, of course, look very sexy. It almost appears as though it is the advertiser's job to make young women feel bad about themselves. Other examples are films such as the Rambo series of the 1980s and the more resent American Sniper, which glorify mindless military self-sacrifice, torture and violence. They romanticize obedience to authority and unquestioning loyalty to a warmongering government. American Sniper lionizes the most despicable aspects of U.S. society, the gun culture, the blind adoration of the military, the belief that we have an innate right as a Christian nation to exterminate the lesser breeds of the earth, a grotesque hypermasculinity that banishes compassion and pity, a denial of inconvenient facts and historical truth, and a belittling of critical thinking and artistic expression. Chris Hedges What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.